All right, welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue with our series of creating SVG designs and selling them on Etsy. So let's jump in. It's going to be a little bit of what we went over the last couple of videos. We're going to go and do a little bit of research on Etsy. I typed in flowers SVG right over here. You can see that we have a thousand, just around a thousand results over here. So it's not that competitive. Now, if we just took off flowers and we type in SVG, it just says a thousand plus. So really, they don't really show you what here. Let's try something else because they're not really showing us what the competition level is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and open up an incognito window real quick. We're going to go type in Etsy and then I'm going to type in uh, SVG for whatever reason. Yeah, so they're only going to tell us a thousand results right over here. All right, we're going to try Etsy hunt. Let's see if this works. I never used it before. Install Etsy rank tool. Uh, just start Etsy hunt. So let's see if we can get something going on over here. So SVG, just going to type in SVG and push start. See what information we get over here. Actually, I'm going to go to Etsy rank. I know I used to use this one. Let's go log in real quick. I'm going to type in flower SVG up here at the top. Search. So here's what I was trying to look for. Etsy competition right over here. So this is how much competition you can expect with this keyword on Etsy search results pages. 187,000, which is nuts. Average searches is good, clicks, but this is just extremely competitive right here. So we might want to go with, I'm going to go and try to find another keyword right over here. So we're going to go into that is butterfly. Let's, let's go with flowers, SVG right over here. And we're going to sort this by difficulty level, like right over here. So pink flowers SVG only has a four right over here. So I might take pink flowers SVG and copy that and go back into E rank. And maybe we can see if this is a little bit better than the almost 200,000 results. As he, unfortunately, and just like Google and just like a lot of these tools, they're not giving you the competition level anymore. When you go and type in Google and you type in something, they don't share how many results there are anymore. And it's annoying. They're just trying to take away information from us that they've given to us for years. But we're going to use a tool like E rank and this is going to be way better. So obviously, there's not a lot of search volume. But you can you can bet that when we when someone types in pink flowers SVG, we're gonna have a lot better chance of ranking for something that only has 13,000. You can see we're in green right over here then something that has 200 for competition. So we have different keyword ideas. We can actually use all of these right over here as well. But pink flowers SVG could also implement a watercolor flowers right there as well. So cool. So we have our keyword pink flowers SVG. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our discord over here, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in right there. And then I'm also going to go and grab this, this one right over here that I like that's creating these really nice, this prompt right over here looks good. So I'm going to go and grab this. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to, obviously we need to change the cute hearts with happy faces. And we're going to replace that with the pink flowers SVGs right there. And then what I'm going to do is white background stickers, no shadow. So white background Instead of it saying white background, I'm just going to say black and white. And we'll see what it what it does for us right there. I'm going to go ahead and copy this prompt and throw this in right over here. So slash imagine and throw that in and push enter. And let's see what we're going to be able to come up with real quick. OK, so here's what we got right here. They do look cool. They're not black and white, but you know what? We're going to just go and roll with this anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and just upscale these. So we're going to upscale and I'll continue to hone in on the actual prompt because we do want them to all get black and white eventually as well. But for now, um, there's ways that we can go. I'm not going to do that in this video, but there's ways that we can go and actually turn all these into black and white anyways. But right now we're just going to go ahead and upscale these right now because they look pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one in the web. Yeah, there's a lot of pink going on. I think that's pretty good. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and stick with that. Okay, so I'm going to go right click and save image as and pink SVG. And I'm going to just say one, I copy that and we're going to save this. And then what we're going to do is come back and grab our second over here. Now, some of these are just not really I'm not really sure if they're flowers or what, but 
we're going to still roll with this. Let's go right over here. Let's just click on it maybe. Save image and just make it two right there. Save image and make this three. And last but not least, we got one more to save as well. So we're going to click on it, right click. And you can see how those pop. It looks really cool. And we're going to save this image as number four. Okay, so then what are we going to do with these, right? We're going to take the easy shortcut, guys. You're going to like this. And we'll see if it sells, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm going to be testing. You want to follow along. You want to make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can follow along and see if we can actually make some sales from this. But what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to go into uh, Canva and we're going to create a 2000 by 2000. In this case, we're not going to do the eight uh, and a half by 11 because people aren't going to really be printing these the way that they are. They're going to actually have it to do the work themselves because we're going to be selling these for so cheap for a dollar anyways, right? So they can go in there and do the work themselves. And I can show you what I mean by that, right? So we're going to come in here. We're going to upload the files. We'll come over here and we'll grab each one of these right here and we'll open them. And let's see what we want to do. I want to get go with this one right here. And then I'm going to just make that pretty big on the page, like and just center it and just leave it like that. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to grab the second one and pretty much just make it as big as it'll go. So, and then we'll make another page and then we'll grab that one. We'll make another page and we'll grab that one. And then we'll go ahead and fix this real quick and resize and last but not least resize and this is a bunch we could go and try to count them but i'm not going to do that in this one it's going to be like a hundred or something like that right but what people can do is we're going to save this as svg right and people are going to be able to go in here and they're going to have to free form cut these out right there's so many different tools that you can go and just cut these out they're going to be cutting them out themselves but right now we're not going to be worrying about that let's see if we can actually go in here edit photo and there's actually something in my next prompt I'm going to try in a minute is I want them to spread these out or we're going to specify that we only want a certain amount on each page. So it'll be even easier, but you can come over here. I'm just going to, I haven't used this tool before, but let's just go see what we're able to do right over here. Maybe drop a file in right here and then we can just draw around this. But what you would do is you would draw around this. I'll come up with a better way to do this and I'll show you guys in another tutorial, but we essentially would just be cutting this out. You'd be using uh, Photoshop or other other tools to cut this out, remove background, and and then you're good to go. Because a lot of times you find you get these on Creative Fabrica and so forth, where they're uploaded like this anyways, and you have to figure out how to cut around and grab each item out of there anyways. And so that's what we're going to be doing right now. So we're going to come back. These look really good, right? And now what we're going to do is we're just going to grab our keyword right over here, flowers, SVG. And we're going to put that in right over here and we're going to say share and we're going to say download and we're going to grab this and very important, make these SVG and we're going to make these transparent and then we're going to say download. So now we have our transparent file that we're going to go after. And then what we can do is we can come over here and this is what we're going to be using for our Etsy listing. So I'm going to go ahead and just replace this right over here and you'll see why I do that. We'll duplicate this page right over here and then we'll go back over here to uploads and you can see how we just navigate around we just do everything very quickly right so i'm going to put all these on one page i'm just going to move that over and i'm going to go about halfway i'm going to go and set this one up so just like that and then i'll move this one down and then i'll move this one like that and maybe we'll just make it a little fancy move that like that and then maybe this one we will turn a little bit as well and we'll go position in the front like that and then we'll go with a little bit of edit photo and a little bit of shadow effects with a glow we'll add glow to each one and we can just leave that like that on these ones we could twist just to go with the theme like that and then maybe turn this one a little bit as well i'm just doing this on the fly but there you go move that up like that so there's your flowers and your pink SVG, and we're going to go download, and this is just going to be a download PNG download. And then what we would do is we would come over here and we would go to our Etsy listing, and we would go to this one that we did an SVG on, and we would just go in here and we would say um, copy. So we're going to copy this listing, and we're going to go and repeat uh, what I did in the last video, 
is we're going to go in and we're going to optimize our title right over here. We're going to uh, come in here and edit this. We're going to delete this image right here. We're going to add that new image that we just created. Come back in over here. I actually need to do uh, page number two. So download again. I want to come in here, download that real quick. And then back into our listing, we'll come back in over here and we'll grab that thumbnail. We'll add it in and we'll grab our keyword. So the whole thing is gonna always be about grabbing your main keyword right here and throwing that in with the alt text. And then we're going to go down and push apply. I'm not gonna take you through all the steps, but you're gonna definitely wanna optimize this and then optimize your description and publish it. And we're going to go and see what we can do. Make sure to tune in, make sure to subscribe so you can see my updates. I'm gonna start publishing content. We're gonna start making some sales and I'll see you in the next video.